Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be diving into my September beauty favorites and it's a good bunch this month, y'all. I am pretty excited about it. There are some return favorites here, but there are a lot of new things. I've been trying a lot of new things lately, and I'm trying a lot more. In fact, it's so funny. I was thinking back to my most recent favorites video, and I had talked about what was on like my September to use list. I don't think hardly any of that is in here. I got a little distracted by some other new beauty stuff and just other video ideas popped into my head and in doing those, that tends tended to be what I used more and less of the stuff that was on my to use list. So that's how it goes. I love them all just the same though. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first up, I wanna start with the face. As usual, I've been using my Tarte Shape Tape, but I have switched foundations. Uh, in the past few months, I've been using my Natasha Denona Foundation X. This is a rediscovery for me, but I had known and had mentioned here on the channel that especially going into cooler months where I'm outside less, it would definitely become too deep for my skin tone. So actually per you guys' recommendation, I did end up getting the e.l.f. Mix to Match Adjusters for the foundation and it's actually what I am wearing with this today, but all in all, the formula for the Foundation X is too dry. It's this, it's really lightweight, nice mousse, but it gives like a demi matte finish to the skin. And I, I don't know if you can hear it, hopefully I'll be able to cut out all of my hacking and throat clearing throughout the video, but I have caught the first fall cold of the year. And so I've been on a lot of decongestants and I think just between that and the changing weather, my skin has kind of gone haywire. I'm just like breaking out like bonkers on my chin area and not even my skincare can combat it. But overall, my skin is just a little bit drier. So I've had to switch to something or actually go back to something that's a little bit more hydrating. And that for me has been the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I have a whole, well, not a video specifically on this, but I did a full face wear test. It's in one of my top favorite things from the brand. And for reference, mine is the shade Warm Beige L4. So this has been my go-to because it it's very buildable. I'm kind of surprised. It has a relatively thin texture, yet it's very buildable to an almost full coverage. Looks like second skin. Even with my, you know, dryness and whatever it is I'm combating right now with my skin, I still notice it can kind of wear away in my T-zone where I get most oily throughout the day. So I have also been loving the new Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow version. I picked this up in the Sephora VIB uh, appreciation sale and have been loving it ever since because it does the job of a setting powder in that, you know, you set it, keeps your makeup in place, keeps it from breaking up throughout the day, but the glow in this just it ensures that I get the uh, benefits of a setting powder without taking away the glowy component that I love from this flower beauty foundation so I actually have a whole video review that I posted this month of this guy especially in comparison to the Lancome uh, absolute setting powder in case you are curious um, I'll link all products and videos that I mentioned down in the description box below if you want to see any of them oh and speaking of dryness I'm gonna jump down to lips right now a couple of lip favorites but specifically related to dryness has been this Lano lips uh, lemonade lip treatment. I once again misplaced, lost, whatever, my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. It was like the second one that I got, and those things are not cheap. So rather than repurchase, um, when Sof no Ulta had their 10 times points day, I was perusing lip treatments on their site. And I had heard of Lana Lips before, but just had never thought of trying them. And so I picked this up, and I really, really love it. And in fact, it's very similar to uh, the Agave Lip Mask from Bite. It's a little bit less heavy. I would say it's a lot more slippery on the lips, but it still gives your lips that same glow. There's a subtle iridescence to it. Like it's not totally clear, but it doesn't really look like a, much of anything on your lips besides this really balmy, healthy sheen. And who boy has it helped with dryness because you know when you're congested and you find yourself like waking up in the middle of the night because you slept with your mouth open and your throat's dry and your lips are dry. This prevents all of that from happening. I mean, obviously not the mouth and throat kind of issue, but it keeps your lips from getting like gross and dry and cracked and things like that. So, and it's so much cheaper than the bite, bravo. And then the two lip shades that have been my go-to are two that I recently showed in my top fall lip picks. The first one I'm wearing today is this one from Mented Cosmetics and it's in the shade Nude La La. This is like my perfect amped up nude for my skin tone. And so it's just been, you know, even if I'm wearing a dramatic eye, this is what I've been going to if I just want something that's nude, but just like next level nude for the fall, if you know what I'm saying. Then the gloss that I've really been loving has been the Becca and Chrissy Teigen, I think these are called glow glosses. Yes, glow gloss. And this is in the shade Beach Nectar. It's a really pretty dusty mauve with flecks of like 
kind of blue looking shimmer in it. It's very unusual looking in the tube, but it looks gorgeous and the blue, you can't really even tell on the lips, but it just gives a little bit of extra depth to the lips that I really like going into fall. All right, now into what is probably the most perfect bridge from lips to eyes because it's a set that contains both. This is the Nude Sticks collaboration with YouTuber Melissa Alatori. She's amazing. If you haven't subscribed to it already, highly recommend it and I'll link her channel down below. But she collaborated with them to create this soft and smoky palette and it contains four eyeshadow pencils and two lip and cheek pencils. Like lip combo can be used on both the lips and cheeks. I've loved this because the pencils are so easy to use. I have a video using it by the way. I'll link it down in the description bar below as usual. But it's basically a tutorial where I walk you through the set and I also show you my favorite ways to apply pencil products because I know some people it's not it's not necessarily intuitive and so I just wanted to share my favorite tips and brushes that I use to apply them as well as show you how I create a look using these and because they are just so easy to use as is especially this set I mean it really is like a full face with just five pencils it's been really intuitive to reach for on days when I just don't want to have to think about what I'm putting on my face additionally most recently I traveled with this for a weekend wedding and it was just the perfect travel set because again you have everything you need in this one palette and it's especially travel friendly because there's no liquids to worry about you can even toss it in your purse purse or your clutch if you're going to a wedding it's like purse size clutch size so you can take it with you to touch up throughout the night and not have to worry about carrying around bulky products it's uh, I yes I really love this more so uh, during the weekend trip and then the first part of the month because in the second part of the month I did a thing and I bought the new Pat McGrath palette still not regretting it I mentioned it in I think it was my favorite fall lip colors video um, mentioned just kind of like being giddy over getting this palette and it has the, the love has not worn off yet I am wearing one of these shades um, it's the shade these are not printed on the back I don't know what shade it is it's this gorgeous duo chromey looking thing right here. I actually did a demo applying it over the look that I'm wearing today just so you could really see how these apply. I'm planning on doing a multi look video with it but I feel like I've been mentioning that for the <laughs> a while at least and so I wanted to give you something to go off of here but basically this more than any other Pat McGrath palette and I do own one other of the Mothership palettes but once I saw that when she was launching this this palette just screamed my name it screamed fall it's just perfection you have a deep plum over here two matte shades a, a taupe a warm copper a really warm and red metallic crimson shade and then three of these like pressed glitters almost that some of them have duochrome components some of them are just straight up glitter she just makes such gorgeous cool palettes and amazing tutorials using them FYI if you're not following Pat McGrath um, on Instagram she does the coolest quick little tutorials on how to use her palettes and even if you don't have them I mean you can kind of try and dupe it yourself because the looks themselves are just so gorgeous some of them are artistic maybe more or less wearable for the everyday but some of them are and just really great inspiration to have so highly recommend you follow the account if you haven't already and if you have been eyeing this palette and are crazy enough like me to be able to justify justify the price to yourself I recommend it. It has been a favorite ever since I've gotten mine. So there you have it. All right. And last up are lashes. These have totally changed the game for me. In fact, I was looking back at the videos that I posted over the last month and there is only one where I'm not wearing lashes, which is such a stark difference from literally almost every video on this channel where I love the look of lashes, but the time for t it takes for to wait for the lash glue to dry to where it's just the right tackiness. Who even knows what that is? You get them on, you position them, you take them off, reposition, yeah, you get it. It's an involved process that I do not have the time or patience for until I found magnetic lashes. And so it isn't without some trial and error that you get a feel for the best and easiest way to apply them. But I made a, a dedicated video giving my tips and tricks to using them. And after pulling them out again, I just found like it's just so easy after you do an eye look, just pop them on really quick and then you're good to go. So that is has been why I've been wearing them so frequently in videos because they're just so easy to apply and I just love the way they take your eye look to the next level where whether it is something dramatic like I'm wearing right now or if it's just a really simple classic everyday eye look 
uh, the pair that I like are half lashes, so they just give you this extra outer corner flare, and it just lifts your eye and like totally transforms the shape or the appearance of the shape of your eye, as well as your eye look with so such minimal time and effort. And that's it for all of my September favorites. As usual, guys, I always love hearing which products you have been loving lately. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.